Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Okay, so there is a client requirement. Okay, they want to have some additional field in the BKM4 transaction code. For example, if you see, I am currently now in VKM4. We know that, right? VKM1, VKM2, VKM3, VKM4, VKM5. So these are the T codes used to check the credit relevant data. Okay, VKM star T codes are used to check credit block relevant data. Okay, if you see this um, initial screen of VKM4, okay, in VKM4, we can release the delivery block, sorry, uh, the deliveries or sales documents which are credit blocked, right? So with the help of this T code, we can release sales documents and deliveries from the credit block. And if you closely look at this uh, screen, here we can see several options like uh, credit control area, credit account, risk category. Similar way we have that uh, SD document. So it might be an order number or delivery number and uh, overall document status, credit status, right? So based on this uh, certain fields, we can filter the data. For example, I want to see that uh, data for some A to Z orders like uh, from 100, 200 to 300 orders, something, right? And if I want to look for in uh, documents, whichever is the payer account. For example, 5, 6, 7, 8, something, okay? I want to display the data for this, for this payer account only, right? So like this, we have different field available here to segregate the data and display the data. If I now execute, it will display the data, required data. However, based on the inputs that I'm going to input here. The, the challenge here is that from business point of view, there are different teams are available. Okay, credit management team is there, but uh, in that credit management team, few people will handle one particular company code data only and few other will handle different company code data right that's the, that's the problem here that's the requirement came from the business here here i can't put input the like sales arg here i want to display only the this company code data this sales arg data is it possible now it's not possible because we don't have any input field here right to overcome this problem client request her to have one custom report so we can't add any field here we can add it but if you uh, if you want add means we need access key right then we should add that uh, logic in the standard report only and if something goes wrong in the report something's not working means then sap won't provide support for this report because we are touching this standard object vkm4 right to avoid this, we have developed one new custom report by copying the existing VKM4. Let me show you that also. You see here, this is what we have developed. So here we have option to, okay, you see here, here we have credit control area, credit account, this category, and uh, we have two more fields here. But we have in the custom uh, T code, we have added few more fields like uh, we have added a company code, sales org, distribution channel, division, sold to, and payer. So by adding some other input field here, I can filter the data easily. I can uh, look for data for the company code wise, or if I want to display the data based on sales area wise, that's also possible. Or if I want to display the sold to customer wise data. That is also possible by adding this uh, additional input field in this report. It's very much possible, right? 
yeah so this is that client requirement so we have developed one custom report by copying the vk m4 then in the custom report we have added some input field the extra filters to filter the data okay so add company code data sales area sold to and payer extra so this is my client requirement you might get some other also so not only vkm4 in any other t codes if you want to extend the existing standard report right then you can simply copy the existing standard re report then add the required additional fields okay so after inputting this uh, field system will display the data relevant to this field only but in order to filter the data as per the selection parameters then we should add some logic in the background right now let's see what logic you can add here okay first thing is that we need to get the sales arc get sales arc from tvko table by passing sales arc from the initial screen okay tvko table which will be used to store the sales arc information let me open that tvko okay so sales arc data will be stored here only so we need to get the company code for the relevant sales arc because if you see this uh, custom report we have added sales arc here right then we need to get the company code for this one correct so we should pass this one and get the company code that's one thing the first logic and get the currency from t001 table so t001 is the company code table okay let me show you that t001 it's a company code table so here we need to retrieve the currency the field here is that verse w a e r s this one next we need to retrieve get sales order data from vbak table so we are inputting we are inputting the sales area here right so for the sales area only we need to retrieve the data from vbak table and then we need to retrieve the data from vak cr table by passing the pair so remember this one more table vak cr from this table we can get the relevant order information by passing the pair number you see this is index table where we can see all the great man relevant data so remember this table vak cr and in case of fscm credit management this step is optional if we are using the classic rate management where rate exposure will be updated into info structures like uh, S061, S062, S063 means that time we should use the. We should not use this step. In case of FSCM, so in our in our system, in my system, we are using the FSCM credit management only. So then we need to get the credit segment from table UKM underscore KKBR underscore. To 
to SGM by passing credit control area. See, this is the logic we have followed in my custom report, but in your project, the logic might be different. Depends, right? Depends on that logic only. It depends. So, with this is how we should uh, write the logic, and we need to specify the technical field name also. So, which in the TV cable table, which field will get the book ras? So, book ras means company code. So, from TV cable table by passing sales information, we'll get the book ras value. Right, and coming to currency will be stored in the table field W A E R S. Like this, we have a field also. We should know this field information of the table and input in and add this entire logic in the FS functional specification document. Right. After developing this custom report, important thing they should remember is that authority object should be added into the custom report then uh, get relevant roles from business share those roles and uh, authority object and report information security team this is this is that uh, fixed steps okay this is mandatory step that we should follow whenever we develop any custom report this three is required at any cost or else unauthorized object i mean unauthorized persons can access this custom report we should avoid that to avoid that we should follow these three steps okay and this is the main logic of this report. So let me uh, highlight one more time what we, are, what we discussed now, right? In VKM4, there is no option to filter the, filter the data based on the sales area, company code wise, sold to customer wise. It's because, so if we execute now, it will display all the data. Now business want to make sure that uh, which, what that order is from which company code, which sales area. It's extra work for them, right? To avoid that, to reduce their uh, burden, we have developed one custom report by filtering the data. After adding this field, and we have added relevant logic in the background, right? Then if you execute means the relevant data will be displayed in the report. Then we can release the credit block, as we know, right? How to release the credit block until right? That's how we should develop this custom report. Okay, fine friends. Hope this video will be very helpful to you guys. If you have any queries, concerns, please do let me know in the comment section. We can catch up in the next video. Bye for now.